You know that feeling when you think Samsung's finally done surprising us? And then they pull this? Yeah, that's exactly what's happening with the Exynos 2600. Out of nowhere, Samsung's upcoming flagship chip has jumped back into the spotlight. And it's not just another leak. It's a sign that Samsung's got something much bigger planned. So here's the story. A few days ago, people spotted a mysterious, underclocked version of the Exynos 2600 quietly showing up in benchmark charts. It was slower, weaker, and no one really knew why it existed. But then, boom, the real version, the faster one, came back. And that's when everything started to click. See, Samsung might actually be testing two different versions of its brand new 2 nanometer processor. Why? Because they could be setting up a new kind of strategy. One where not every Galaxy phone gets the same chip, but each gets a chip tuned specifically for it. Now, if you look at the leaks, the Exynos 2600 is a proper monster. We're talking a 10-core setup, with one prime core hitting 3.8 gigahertz, mid cores running at 3.26 gigahertz, and the efficiency ones cruising at 2.76 gigahertz. Then there's the quieter version, slightly slower with lower frequencies. People think Samsung's testing different versions to find the right balance between raw power and cooling. And honestly, that theory makes sense. Because the new Geekbench results show the high-performance variant smashing through with 3,455 single-core and 11,621 multi-core scores. That's the strongest Exynos result we've ever seen. So what's the plan? Well, according to reports, Samsung might be reserving that top-end version for the Galaxy S26 Ultra, while the S26 and S26 Plus get a slightly tuned-down chip. Think of it as a smarter split. The same architecture, but optimized differently depending on the model. And that opens up some pretty interesting possibilities. The lower clocked version could show up in future devices like a Galaxy S26 Edge or even the next fan edition, maybe branded as the Exynos 2600E, just like we saw with the 2400E on the S24 FE. If that's true, Samsung isn't just making chips. They're building an ecosystem of performance tiers, and that's a massive shift in how they design their flagships. Now let's talk Galaxy S26 because the hype isn't just about the chip. According to fresh reports, Samsung might slightly bump up prices due to rising component costs. Fidel says we could see around a $100 increase across the lineup, meaning roughly $899 for the base model, $999 for the Plus, and $1,399 for the Ultra. But it's not all bad news. Samsung managed to hold prices steady for the Fold 7 and Flip 7 even when costs went up. So it's possible they'll do the same here. Maybe only the Plus sees a bump. And then there's what Jason C. revealed. The Galaxy S26 Ultra sounds like a beast. Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 in some regions, Exynos 2600 in others, up to 16 gigabytes of RAM, a 6.9 inch QHD plus AMOLED panel, a 200 megapixel camera, and a 5,000 milliamp hour battery battery with 60 watts fast charging and Qi 2 wireless support. Basically, Samsung's turning this thing into a powerhouse faster, cooler, sharper, and more refined than ever. So if all these leaks are on point, the Galaxy S26 lineup might not just be another annual refresh. It could be Samsung's biggest leap in years. And the funny thing is, they haven't even said a word yet. So yeah, if this is what Samsung's doing behind the scenes, I can't wait to see what happens when they finally go public. Because if this is just the start, 2026 might be the year Samsung finally steps back into the spotlight and owns it.